these are the signs you want to follow. You want to go past that Route 22 and follow these Salmon River Fish Hatchery signs. That'll take you to Route 22. This is also known as Cemetery Road. Salmon River Falls, six miles. What was that sign? It's the cemetery. Salmon River Fish Hatchery over there. This is the entrance. New York State Salmon River Fish Hatchery. park on the lawn here, <laughs> on the grassy spots. We're going to walk around the, uh, walk around this path off the parking lot. This is the front of the building right here. Path. A set of stairs covered with water that the fish swim up and into the hatchery so they don't have to collect any fish. You just, uh, they just swim into the hatchery when we get there. Okay, these are all the tanks and the ladder is kind of underneath us. way down there on the end and it comes into that Denali fishway and then they kind of stack up in here and that uh, over there this is the chute that goes right into the into the hatchery if they've got enough they can keep them in these tanks the holding tanks or waiting tanks We'll have to go over to the actual ladder and see if there's anything in there. And these are all the baby fish tanks out there. And they've got nets and wires and stuff to try to keep the birds from eating them. As you can see, there's a small smorgasbord of birds trying to get the little ones. If they die and float to the top, they can have them, but most of the time they don't. So this is the fish ladder. It goes up and into the things. And they use some good oxygenated water, but they have these little areas where the fish can jump up or jump under. They can swim under those or they can swim over them. Depends on how much water they're letting through. And uh, they can swim all the way up into the, into the fish hatchery. And sometimes you'll see really big fish, but right now isn't their season. So that's the fish ladder. All the other things around here. Pretty neat. It was really made uh, as a showcase. This is the spawning house. The fish swim up the ladder and they pull them up. They kind of back up in a pile at the top of the ladder right here and they bring them up in this elevator and dump them out onto this sluice way and the sluice way brings them down here where people stand and they, uh, if it's a male, they'll squirt them into a bucket. And if it's a female, they'll squirt them into a different bucket. And those are the buckets for the uh, 
row and spawn, I guess. And from there, the, they get loaded into carts and they're taken into, the, into another room. And the dead fish, if they have to cut them open, a lot of times they cut them open because they're going to die anyways. And they throw them in those garbage cans. And at the end of the day, they may fill up all those garbage cans. But uh, it's okay because the fish are going to, they're going to continue their line. Most of it's done in the, in the fall. They have a great uh, collection of different uh, lures. It's pretty cool. This is, this is kind of how it's done. Take the female and get the eggs and then add the male. Not quite as much fun as I would want. But and then this is the brooding house. Egg incubation. It's a lot of fish to be going right back into the lake. New York has great fishing. There's a lot of educational stuff in here too. And, and these guys are what it's all about. My battery's gonna die, so won't be able to show you the whole place around again. But uh, it's a pretty neat place. Um, the tanks are usually filled in the fall. But uh, a lot of, lot of interesting stuff. Like I say, it was built as a showroom, and it surely is. So that's your tour of the salmon fish, salmon river fish hatchery. Back on the road.